My journey in rugby has been long. Starting in high school to be precise, where to be a star in my school, you had to be a soccer player. But I chose to walk a different path and chose rugby. Of course it was challenging, being the different guy. But I hung in there and I chose to be resilient and to tough it out. Then I came to Nairobi and joined my first rugby club. But soon, that club was disbanded, leading me and my fellow players out in the cold. Still, I chose to keep walking and chasing my dream. And so I found myself at Mwamba Rugby Club, which is one of the biggest clubs in the country. And with many star players in their squad during that time, I was thrown straight into the second team. Of course, I wanted to go straight to the first team. But I knew I had to tough it out and play in the second team and prove myself. Still, I journeyed. I was selected to play for the national 15s team while I was still playing for the second team in my club. And even there, being a new kid on the block and being one of the smaller guys in the team, I knew that I had to work hard and persevere and take chances that came my way in order for me to prove myself. My big break came when I got called up to the national 7s team. And I remember going for my first tour. The best memory I have from that tour was the victory over England. And since then, I've kept walking. I have walked past being the top try scorer in the World Series. I've walked past being an Olympian. I've walked past national honors. I've walked past being a role model to the young upcoming rugby players. And still with determination, resilience, and with perseverance, I keep walking. And there it is. The man who has scored more tries on the World Series than anyone else. And just like Johnny Walker, that was my record-breaking 200th.